Hi, I'm Johannes of NewGadgets.de and I'm back from Mobile World Congress 2011 and many tablets had Android 3.0 Honeycomb and we're going to have a quick walkthrough of this mobile OS. So this is how to unlock it and here's the home screen and you will notice that these tablets made especially for Android 3.0 they don't have the standard Android buttons anymore because you don't need them. On the lower left corner you will see the new buttons, they are on the touch devices. So we have a home button, a back button and a button for all the open applications. Right here we have a, like a taskbar, you know from Windows. It will show you all the information, so battery life, the date, the time, etc. So back again to the home screens. As you can see, they are arranged like a honeycomb. And it, it feels like really smooth. We can add widgets to all of these home screens. The cool thing is that the widgets are also interactive. I will show you an example later. And here you can see also the size of the widgets. So 4x1, 3x3, etc. So no more room on the home screen for this 3x3 widget. So then let's take the 4x1 music widget. So here it is. For example, just press and hold and you can put it everywhere you want. So and you see it looks really gorgeous. It's a really nice tablet OS. And on the upper right corner there's the app button. So there you can find all your installed applications, the games and everything else. And right here is the Android keyboard. We have an English US keyboard right now, but you can of course change it to another language. Now I want to show you the new browser. The first thing you will notice is okay that we don't have internet, but there are tabs now. So if you press the plus, you can add a tab. If you press the X, you can delete them. And this is how I like browsing on a tablet. And if you press the plus on the upper right corner, you can add widgets. I showed you that before. But we have still more. So we can add app shortcuts. And make sure to notice these cool animations here over here. You will always see the icons on the left or the right side. And it really looks cool. And here you can also choose the wallpapers for your home screen. And there's even more. You can add bookmarks, contacts, directions or even selected settings. And let's open up the new gallery. So it will show you all the pictures you have and all the pictures that were made by the camera. And that's a really nice animation. So these pictures were made by the camera of this tablet. It's the Motorola Xoom. And the multi-touch is really great on this one. Down here you see all the pictures. We have a slideshow. You can share. You have more details. So I think it's more than on the old Android. You're sharing with Picasa, Bluetooth or Gmail and you have a nice slideshow. So this was the last picture, so now we have a good slideshow. So that was the gallery. And because Android 3.0 requires a good processor, we can enjoy some cool games on it. This is Riptide GP. It's only a gameplay demo, but this is something really nice and I'm really looking forward to play some cool games on the new high-end tablets. And this is the settings menu for tablets. It looks really nice organized. You have all your favorite settings. So as you may know that Android has a lot of settings 
think that's nice and with the new settings menu it's well organized and it looks really nice. So that was my walkthrough of Android 3.0 Honeycomb. I hope you liked it. Make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel and watch my videos. Also visit my website on newgadgets.de for the latest gadgets. If you have any questions just leave a comment and thank you for watching.